for Mark. We have another weekend of two home games at the Ebb. Um, it's obviously about carrying on that brilliant home form we, we're kind of building on at the moment. Yeah, we certainly enjoyed our last two outings at home. Um, it's certainly our, our intent at home is to get out and attack a game and uh, you know give something for our fans to cheer about and enjoy. Um, so we're looking to carry that form on at home. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to to the energy that hopefully we can show. Obviously, they've been quite a, a, well, a lot of goals in those games. Um, so you know, is, is that what we really want to be doing? We want to be attacking teams. We want to be going out and we want to be scoring. Oh, yeah, it's always, always been been the intent. I think. Every home game, I think we've created probably a similar amount of chances and been unfortunate in, in some of them that we haven't quite put those, put those away. So um, I certainly think that this, this group's growing and, and developing. I think it's certainly got a lot more attacking intent in it now. I think you can see from our substitutions, the, you know, the, the players that come on and finish the game, we're always trying to um, you know, find ways of winning the game of football. And um, you know, we're growing, we're learning each time, but we're, we're 10 games in now, so we're, we're learning a lot more about ourselves. We know that the, t the team that we want to be, and we know what goes into making us that team. We're going to be, out, um, we're going to be without Tom Whelan this weekend. Uh, obviously, that creates one problem, but, but how do we go around that? Yeah, disappointing um, you know, to lose Tom because we worked so hard to get him in and he showed what an influential character he was in his, in his first game. So, um, yeah, sadly missing on Saturday, but he's back for, for Tuesday and there's an opportunity for someone else now to, to stake a claim. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find a way. And it was nice to see any uh, not fall to the captain curse, obviously, as we, we've seen Giles and, and Joe and, and Josh all, all get a bit injured afterwards. But, but um, is Giles getting a bit better? Will it, do, you, do you think he'll be involved this weekend? Yeah, Giles is, um, you know, on the recovery. Um, we're hoping that's not, not, not too bad. So whether this game comes a little bit too soon for him. Um, but hopefully he'll be in and around the squad um, shortly. We saw a brilliant performance from Luca on, on Saturday. Um, he, it was, he, well, he was unfortunate not to get the clean sheet from it. But is, is it all, are we building towards more of a, you know, a solid defensive unit as well. Definitely, and I think we showed that on, on Saturday at Altrincham. Down, down to 10 men, we've defended really strongly. I think they had probably a 10 minute period, about the 60th minute, where they had a couple of chances and Luca really come into his own. And uh, going down to 10 men away from home, you, you're gonna need your goalkeeper to stand up, and he certainly has. I think he's getting stronger game in, game out. We, we always knew he would. And you can really see, uh, you know, the maturity growing with him, um, you know, he's, Obviously, does a lot of great work with our goalkeeping coach Robbie, who I think is really uh, bringing him on and really bringing out that potential in him. Uh, there's going to be two games this weekend, obviously Saturday and Tuesday. So well, well, that obviously creates a few problems, but it, it's all about just getting those those points on the board, getting the fans behind us, and that will carry the players on, won't it? Yeah, it's about well, first take care of Saturday. You know, we can't even look, we'll never look further ahead than that. So it's about putting our best foot forward, putting on a positive performance, um, and giving you know trying to get some continuity and momentum into our season. And looking away from the first team, um, unfortunately the, the under 18s lost in the FA Youth Cup uh, last night on penalties, which is always heartbreaking, but it was a great performance. And, and we saw as well some of the um, under 21s uh, play, uh, beat Andover in the Hampshire Cup last week. So there's, there's, there's a bright future and there's a lot of young talent um, around the club, isn't there? Yeah, there certainly is. And I think Ross is doing a, a great job. Um, you know, we're always calling on, on his players. Um, you know, they're in and around the, in the group and the squad. They're always coming up and helping with training. And they're getting in and around the first team environment, which is great. Magnificent performance away at Andover uh, last week. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, a cruel one for him last night where that is a learning curve in itself, you know, to play with 10 men the last period of the game with 10 men, go 1-0 down, then find that equaliser. They've had to dig, dig in and find that character and then to cruelly lose on penalties. And um, it's actually in those tough moments you learn a lot, especially for younger players. It's, it's, it's only hardship they, le they learn through. So I think they're getting a, a really good football education with Ross and his, and his fellow coaches um, and also the experiences that they're gaining along the way in, in, in these games. And unfortunately, they'll learn through their heartache last night. But, um, you know, they're getting plenty of different experiences in terms of like the games that they're playing, like cup games, training with the first team and playing in the Hampshire Cup. So hopefully we're giving them quite a, a well-rounded education in football. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe.